In this session, I get to show how to derive expression for molar gas constant per molecular mass by simply altering our equation or our ideal gas equation. If you look at this, PV is equal to nRT, this is our ideal gas equation. Just breaking it down a bit, PV is going to be equal to n, our value of n, the number of moles we know, the formula for getting the number of moles is m over capital m now m is the mass of the substance divide that by capital m which so happens to be the molecular or the relative molecular mass of that gas uh, so meaning if you're having 10 grams of a gas so the the the, the grass the of a certain gas so it becomes 10 divide that by the relative molecular mass of that specific gas if the gas is oxygen it means the relative molecular mass will be 16 if the gas is carbon dioxide then you put here the relative molecular mass of carbon dioxide and so forth so it is the mass divide that by that so instead we shift this value of m the relative molecular mass and we put it below the mo the capital r the the molar gas constant so this becomes we have we start getting our new expression there so this becomes pv is equal to small m times the, we call this small r times t now this r is what we are calling the molar gas constant per unit molecular mass and this is the expression it, we're just playing around so in some problems they'll present with you data and they'll present figures and uh, that they will call the molar gas constant at per unit molecular mass this is how you would manipulate your working this brings us to the end of this video thanks for watching feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe for Kisembo academy this is Arnold Rangakuramia helping you manifest excellence